Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Scientists at National Institute of Virology Pune isolate 11 strains of COVID-19, making India the fifth country to do so. Government declares face masks and hand sanitizers as essential commodities to boost supply and prevent hoarding. Rajasthan government decides to close educational institutions, gyms and theatres till March the 30th. United States declares national emergency over novel coronavirus as death toll in the country rises to 41. Excise duty on petrol and diesel increased by 3 rupees a litre. Scientists at the National Institute of Virology, Pune, have isolated 11 strains of the COVID-19. India has become the fifth country to successfully isolate the virus strain after Japan, Thailand, the United States and China. This step marks the prerequisite for conducting any research towards development of vaccine and drugs for COVID-19. Director General of Indian Council of Medical Research, ICMR, Dr. Balram Bhargav said that ICMR has been working with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and other departments to tackle COVID-19. He said ICMR has still now tested more than 6,500 samples of around 5,900 individuals, out of which 83 cases have been tested positive for the virus. Dr. Bhargav informed that the network of labs equipped to test COVID-19 has been expanded from 51 to 65. He assured that ICMR is well equipped to handle more volumes of samples in case of any further need. Dr. Bhargav asked people not to panic and take precautionary measures. Sanitizer, वहाँ use करें जहाँ पानी नहीं मिल पा रहा है, बहुत public space में है, घर से हाथ धोके चले, आप metro में गए आराम से, बिना mask लगाए, वहाँ पे आपने कई चीजें छुई आपको लगा, तो वहाँ पे जब उतरने से पहले आप अपना sanitizer use कर लीजिए. Twenty-one passengers who were stranded in coronavirus hit Italy were brought to Kochi today. They were shifted to Aluva Hospital for further investigation. Cochin International Airport Limited has banned visitors' entry to the terminals with immediate effect. The government has declared face masks and hand sanitizers as essential commodities for the next 100 days. The move is aimed at stepping up efforts to boost supply and prevent hoarding of these items in its fight to check the spread of coronavirus disease. The centre has also invoked the Disaster Management Act to ensure price regulation and availability of surgical and protective masks, hand sanitizers, and gloves. In a statement, the Consumer Affairs Ministry said the government has notified an order under the Essential Commodities Act to declare these items as essential commodities up to the 30th of June 2020 by amending the schedule of the Essential Commodities Act 1955. Air India will send a special flight to Milan in Italy today to bring back stranded Indians. Additional Secretary MEA Damu Ravi said there are around 220 students in and around Milan and the government's priority is to bring them back. Meanwhile, Air India cancelled routine flights to Italy, South Korea and Kuwait amid mounting concerns over the coronavirus pandemic. An airline spokesperson said the national carrier has also curtailed its services to France, Germany, Spain, Israel and Sri Lanka till April the 30th. Five fresh cases of novel coronavirus COVID-19 have been reported in the country, raising the total number to 81, which includes one death each from Delhi and Karnataka. Preventive restrictions have been put in place across the country to restrict the spread of the novel coronavirus. The Rajasthan government has decided to keep closed all schools, colleges, coaching centers, gyms, cinema and theaters till March the 30th. We have this report. The ongoing examinations in colleges and schools will continue. Medical and nursing colleges will remain functional as usual. The people have been appealed to keep the wedding ceremony short and invite a limited number of guests. 370 people have been screened so far for corona in the state, out of which only three cases have been tested positive. More than 3 lakh people in the state have been screened by the health teams. Jitendra Divedi, AIR News, Jaipur. In Maharashtra, the state government has ordered closure of cinema, theatres, gymnasiums,
swimming pools and public parks in the cities of Mumbai, Thane, Navi Mumbai, Nagpur, Pune and Pimpri Chinchwad till March the 30th. In Bihar, the State Health Minister Mangal Pandey said strict vigil is being maintained along the Indo-Nepal border to check entry of coronavirus-affected people in the state. The state government has cancelled leave of doctors and staff of health officials in view of the coronavirus outbreak. The Uttar Pradesh government has also declared the closure of all schools and colleges where examination process is not going on till the 22nd of March. The inner line permits for tourists and non-resident visitors in the Union Territory of Ladakh have been withdrawn and new ones will not be issued till further orders. In Assam, the Chief Secretary Kumar Sanjay Krishna said, all steps have been taken in the state to prevent the outbreak of the coronavirus. Talking to AIR correspondent, Mr. Krishna said, the Deputy Commissioners have been instructed to discourage mass gathering. Indian cricket team captain Virat Kohli has urged countrymen to take all necessary precautions in the wake of novel coronavirus pandemic. Kohli in his tweet said, let's stay strong and fight the COVID-19 outbreak by taking all precautionary measures. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has advised people to follow basic protective measures so that they can keep themselves safe from the novel coronavirus. People should avoid participating in large gatherings. If a person is experiencing cough and fever, he or she should avoid close contact with others. People are advised not to touch their eyes, nose and mouth without cleaning their hands. Spitting in public places should be avoided. All persons should practice frequent hand washing with soap and water or use alcohol-based hand rub. In case of fever, difficulty in breathing and cough, a doctor should be consulted immediately. The government has also issued a 24-7 helpline number 011-2397-8046 and also an email ID ncov2019 at the rate gmail.com for any assistance on coronavirus. Khedra, News Desk. U.S. President Donald Trump declared a national emergency over the novel coronavirus yesterday, unlocking up to 50 billion U.S. dollars in federal funds to combat the fast-spreading pandemic. The action I am taking will open up access to up to 50 billion dollars of very important and a large amount of money for states and territories and localities in our shared fight against this disease. The World Health Organization has said that Europe is now the epicenter for the global coronavirus pandemic. In a virtual press conference, WHO Chief Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus said it is impossible to know when the outbreak would peak. He said the European continent has now more reported cases and deaths than the rest of the world combined, apart from China. More than 132,000 cases of COVID-19 have now been reported to WHO from 123 countries and territories. 5,000 people have lost their lives. Europe has now become the epicenter of the pandemic with more reported cases and deaths than the rest of the world combined apart from China. Meanwhile, China reported 13 new coronavirus deaths, taking the toll to 3,189, while the confirmed cases climbed to 80,824 with 11 more infections. The deadly virus, which has killed over 5,000 people globally, including 41 in America, has spread to 46 of the 50 U.S. states, with nearly 2,000 cases being reported from across the country. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. The central government has hiked excise duty on petrol and diesel by 3 rupees per litre. However, their effective pricing is likely to observe minimal change due to the sharp fall in international oil prices. The Union Cabinet has approved a proposal for the construction of 780 kilometers of green highways at a cost of 7,660 crore rupees. Briefing media in New Delhi, Union Minister Prakash Zavdekar said the project pertains to rehabilitation and upgradation of various national highways in four states, Himachal Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh. 
The union cabinet also approved a reconstruction scheme for Yes Bank. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said SBI will invest 49% equity in Yes Bank with other investors also being invited. She said the moratorium on withdrawals from Yes Bank will be lifted within three days of notification of the reconstruction scheme. The government introduced a bill to protect the reproductive rights of women, the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Amendment Bill 2020, in the Lok Sabha on the 2nd of this month. The bill provides for an extended time limit of up to 24 weeks for medical termination of pregnancy. Our correspondent has filed this report. The bill aims to check unsafe abortion. The enhanced gestation limit in the legislation has also been made applicable for special categories of women such as survivor of rape, victims of incest and other vulnerable women like differently abled women and minors. The legislation will be helpful in aborting pregnancy on the ground of fetal abnormalities or pregnancy due to sexual violence without facing the cumbersome legal process. The legislation will ensure the confidentiality of the process and respect the privacy of women. Anand Chaturvedi, AIR News. National Nutrition Mission, also known as Rashtriya Portion Abhiyan, is an initiative by the central government to ensure attainment of a malnutrition-free India by 2022. In Mizoram, the mission has been implemented fully in all districts since early 2019 in a convergence mode with concerned state government departments. A report from our ISOL correspondent. In upland hilly areas where availability of nutritious vegetables is not sufficient and available foodstuff is too costly, an innovative nutrition garden has come up successfully. Currently in Lungle district, nutrition gardens grown up in four block areas at Lungle, Naathial, Bunghun and Lungsen are serving thousands of children of below six years old. The district program officer of social welfare department, Mrs. Duveli, said that the department Department has given the seeds of beans and mustard to the children's parents and given hands-on training to grow plants at their homes. From the last season, those families are growing vegetables at their home gardens. Some families have planted these seeds in pots and some are doing by the river banks. Irene, AIR News, Azol. Eleven people died and three others were injured in a road accident near Sointara village in Rajasthan this morning. The deceased include four men, six women and a child. The victims of the accident are residents of Barmer district. The injured have been referred to Mathura Das Mathur Hospital in Jodhpur after first aid at a nearby hospital. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed grief at the loss of lives. In a tweet, Mr Modi expressed condolences to the families of those who lost their lives in the accident. He also wished speedy recovery for the injured. Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot also expressed condolences to the families of those killed in the accident and wished a speedy recovery to those injured. Meanwhile, six people were killed in a road accident near Namakal in Tamil Nadu early this morning. The 39th meeting of the Goods and Services Tax GST Council is underway in New Delhi. Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman is chairing the meeting. Minister of State for Finance Anurag Thakur, Finance Ministers of States and Union Territories and senior officers from the Centre and States are attending the meeting. The Board of Control for Cricket in India, BCCI, has postponed the 13th edition of the Indian Premier League, IPL, till April the 15th as a precautionary measure amid the coronavirus situation. IPL 2020 was scheduled to start on March the 29th. The IPL has sent the communication to all eight franchises, saying it will meet the owners today in Mumbai for further discussion. And now before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Scientists at National Institute of Virology, Pune, isolate 11 strains of COVID-19, making India the fifth country to do so. Government declares face masks and hand sanitizers as essential commodities to boost supply and prevent hoarding. Rajasthan government decides to close educational institutions, gyms and theatres till March the 30th. United States declares national emergency over novel coronavirus as death toll in the country rises to 41. And excise duty on petrol and diesel increased by 3 rupees a litre. For details of these stories and more, visit News on AIR app and log on to our website www.newsonair.com. And with that, we end the midday news.